But before that day comes, there are signs. And it's quite unusual that some people, they say, I didn't have a sign before I died. Everyone has a sign before they died. Die. Everyone. Everyone. But these signs are different. They come in various forms. Some people have immediate signs of death before they die, such as illness, such as even spiritual feelings. Others, they don't have any of these signs. It just hits them like that. But the signs I'm talking about is time. Time. As time progresses, as you grow in age, you're actually getting smaller in age. Every minute that we grow, we're actually getting, our life is getting shorter. And therefore, time is one of the signs. Age is another. White hair is another. Wrinkles. And the Prophet ﷺ said, everything has a cure, except for two things. Everything has a cure. لِكُلِّ دَاءٍ دَوَاءٍ Every illness has a cure. If you find it, he'll be cured. Except for two things. Death and age, old age. You can't reverse it. All those commercials you see on television about Nivea and this cream or that cream. I don't know their names, but you know, all these creams telling you because you know your life and they put these women and men up there as though they have this really fresh skin. It's, that, that's, that's a lie. It's, they're just deceiving you. There's no cure for old age. The other signs of the world's end, my dear brothers and sisters, are literal signs that the Prophet ﷺ told us. When I say literal, meaning they are real. But their descriptions are really unknown to us in, 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 in detail. But they are actual things that are going to happen if, that, that will be shared by everyone. So there's specific signs for yourself and there are common signs for everyone else. They are the signs of the last hour. I'm not going to go through them in detail today because that's not our topic. But I'm just going to go through it focusing on the world's end. We're talking about the hereafter. This world ending shows us that when Allah says that everything's going to die, it means everything in this world, including the world itself. Allah says in the Quran, كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَالٍ وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything on it will perish. The only thing that will be left is your Lord. Presence of your Lord. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in several verses that the world and the sky will perish. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say الدُّنْيَا فَانِيَا the world is going to perish. A man asked him again, when is the last hour? He said, don't ask about that. What have you prepared for it? But the point is, they're asking because the Prophet had told them, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the world's going to end. Allah says, the earth, the world, and the sky will be changed. From the world and the sky you knew once to another world and sky. Meaning Allah's going to destroy it and recreate another. Different to it. Destroy it. Make another one. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He replies to those who deny the end and resurrection by saying, look at the life that you live in now. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, look at the way we created the life as an example of why, how we are going to resurrect you. Look at how He sends winds and clouds as a good sign for you of mercy, so you can have water, so you can grow your crops and eat. When the clouds fill up, we take it to a land that is dead. Land that has no crops, nothing. It's dry, drought. And from it, we bring back life of fruits. كذلك, just like that, Allah says, كذلك, just like that or similar to that, we will raise the dead people. I say to, Allah says, I say this to you in the hope that you may remember and reflect. So there are many signs or ayat of this. And Allah says, Behold, you shall be resurrected. The signs are many. There are minor signs and major signs. As for the minor signs, they began when? Who knows when they began? The minor signs of the closeness of the world's end. The death of the Prophet ﷺ. Naam, his death. So that's 1,437 years ago now. 
To us, it seems a long time. But I want to say two things. If you're 10 years old, 30 years old, 40, 50, 60, you know, in your mind, you know it was a long time ago. But how do you feel? You feel like it was only yesterday. Isn't that right? 60 years, 100 years, it feels like just yesterday. In your mind, you know it was a long time ago. But feeling, it's only a little bit. If you lived for a thousand years, wallahi, it's going to feel the same. There's a narration about Nuh alayhi salam. He lived for a thousand and about 150 or up to three, 1,350 years. Different narrations, but more than a thousand years. And on his deathbed, the people asked him, how, did you, how do you feel living all this long time? And he says, it's like, it's like a person opened a door, took a step to the other side and then closed the door. And he's trying to say that it's, you don't even feel it. Just passes like that. So whether you're now or in 30 years time, it's the same thing. You're going to feel the same as now. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, the day of accountability has come very close to the people while the people are in, are in an illusion of their own. Ghafla. They're forgetful of it. They're too busy to away from it. Yalabun. They're playing. They're playing around. Allah says, do you not consider that when the day comes, it may come to you while you are playing, or while you are just in ghafla, forgetfulness, or unaware? So when the world ends, brothers and sisters, it will be a time where the majority of the people of the world are going to be in losthood, forgetfulness, ghafla, meaning unaware, too busy with imaginations and illusions and things, ideas they've made up. People will be busy in their world of music. Why do I say music? Because the music has an extraordinary effect on the mind and the heart. People listen to it to get out of misery and sadness and get out of the reality of life. But it doesn't take them towards good. It doesn't take them towards God. It doesn't take them towards the Quran. It doesn't take them towards going and doing, you know, good deeds, they'll just do what the song tells them to do. If it's love, they'll live love. If it tells them about death, they'll probably commit suicide. If it tells them about Satanism, they'll go and worship Satan. Whatever the song tells them, they start living it. Some people are living in a world of money. So they try to bring up all this money and try to live in it. They're in that ghafla. They want to forget about death. So they're busy with luxury, entertainment and all of that stuff. And others are busy with other things addicted to drugs, addicted to desires of their own. The point is, Allah says, the last hour will come when people are in that ghafla. They're, too, they're busy with some type of illusion in this world that makes them unaware of why they're here. And Allah says in the Quran about these types of people to the Prophet Sallallahu when the Prophet tried to call them and, and teach them and he would tell them, please listen to me, I want to save you. And, and a lot of them wouldn't listen. Allah said to him the following verses, let them eat and let them entertain themselves and let them play and let false hope delude them. And he let their hopes of whatever their ideas are, let it delude them. Let it take over their minds for a little temporary while. At the end of it, they're soon going to come to know the reality. It's going to face them. It's going to grab them. It's going to face them right in the face and they can't run away from it. My beloved brothers and sisters, every one of us, we have to leave this world and we have to die one day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Kullu nafsin maut. Every soul shall test death. So are we preparing for our death? Are we making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that he makes our ends the best? There are many signs before your death. Some of them are spiritual. Some of them are physical you understand it and from them one of them is time your time says that already you are towards the end rasulullah said his ummah will have a lifespan of 60 to 70 years so if you are nearby to that time to that age then you should understand that death is near and people can die any time any moment so don't wait to turn towards Allah 
only when you become old you never know when is the time you are going to die the white hair in your head reminds you about your death that you are aging no scientists can bring you back two things they cannot give you life and they cannot reverse your age the time is passing very quickly every second every minute that we are passing we are coming nearer to our death we are in forgetfulness we are in competition how much we can earn more than other how much good life we can live how much better we can live than other we became materialistic dear brothers and sisters come out of this forgetfulness repent to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pray your salah on time recite quran daily give sadaqa and be nice be kind be generous to people be kind to your family members and your parents live a life that makes allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy and ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you the best ending yes there is no harm in earning halal money and becoming rich you can go for that but always remember you have to go back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so be a person that will make allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy and allah will give you jannatul firdaus al hala may allah forgive our shortcomings may allah give us the ability to turn back to allah may allah grant us jannatul firdaus al hala help us build a islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description